All right, magandang magandang araw po. Uh, once again, this is John Rania from Negocio University. And uh, again, welcome for this uh, Facebook Live or for this uh, video rather. And uh, we are actually nasa YouTube din po tayo. And uh, today I'll share with you guys what I uh, some of the things that, that you can start this coming 2021. If you guys can hear me clearly, can you type in kung ano po ang inyong uh, ulam sa noche buena? ngayon. <laughs> right? So, sino dyan may mga Noche Buena? Right? So, yung magse-celebrate. So, ano po ang mga paborito? Siguro, type na lang natin. Ano yung paborito ninyong handa for uh, Noche Buena? Meron ba kayong parang uh, traditional na lagi ninyong uh, uh, somehow pini-prepare? Pini-prepare rather. Right? So, as I check my phone in here, just make sure we're all set. Yan. Can you leave uh, uh, a type of comment below? There you go. Okay. So medyo delay lamang po ang aking uh, video because of, you know, si Facebook eh, normally medyo late nang dumarating. But having said that, good morning, uh, hi kay Gilbert and to everyone who are joining. Um, uh, spaghetti and caldereta. Yan. Um, well, hindi nakalagay yung name niya uh, for whatever reason. Uh, I'm guessing na he belong to uh, Chilinario community. Si Clara, spaghetti for my kids, you know. Uh, parang spaghetti sa Filipino, you know. Um, kinakailangan part of it, eh. Uh, Johnny Manuel, fruit salad, of course. Right? Sino ba naman ang uh, hindi sa fruit salad? Yung tipong kahit busog ka na, o payaran ka pa ng fruit salad, it's like, go. <laughs> okay? Si Jocelyn, good morning, Jocelyn. Uh, spaghetti kay Mary Ann, Ar Arsenal, Lynn, and Green. Good morning, yeah, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone. So again, for those who are just joining us, maybe you can uh, type in uh, ano po yung uh, paborito ninyong inahanda normally sa Noche Buena or kung ano po yung inyong um, uh, parang traditional na inahanda, right, sa Noche Buena. Imbutido. Yan. Ano ba yan? Homemade ba yan? Ariel? Or uh, binili mo somewhere? Uh, roasted chicken naman kay uh, Dexter. Good morning. Good morning, Je Jerome. Good morning to everyone who is joining us. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited for this uh, 2021. In fact, kahit na po nitong, uh, you know, magbabakasyon uh, na somehow for some of you, nakabakasyon na because uh, sa amin po is 23 pa lamang. So bukas pa lang technically yung kinakabakasyon. But I'm excited for 2021. And I really believe na for each one of you na makikinig po for this, in this video, you're gonna pick at least one, right? Which I suggest actually isa lang muna ang uh, pick up ninyo na business opportunity that you guys can start. Okay? Um, si Chester, ang favorito niya, carbonara. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? Carbonara. Okay. So, again, in about a few minutes, we will start while we wait for some. But uh, basically, napakarami po talaga na business na pwede ninyong simulan. But I decided, you know what, I'm just going to share with you guys a business with under three criteria na pwede po nating simulan. Number one, a business with zero or kung meron man capital, maliit lang. Because that's one of the biggest challenge by many. Sir John, gusto ko po magnegosyo, but... I don't have much capital. I don't have much savings. So we're going to pick a business na walang capital, if not very limited lamang po yung capital. Okay? Is that good? Okay, type good. If that's something na, okay, that's interesting, Sir John. Okay, let's do that. How do you do that, right? And then, uh, Chris Desena, good mo. Merry Christmas, Chris. Uh, Rios Pud, Clara Torre. Ano yan? Pagkain ba yun? Clara? Okay, so the second criteria is a business that we can start part time because one of my biggest mistakes as an entrepreneur, nung ako po ay empleyado and I was employed for uh, for eight years, okay, or a little over eight years. One of the biggest mistakes that I made along the way was I quit my job without a solid business or without at least understanding how the, the business na sinimulan ko works. So, kaya po twice po that I quit my job, start a business, after six months, have to go back, get na, get a job because hindi po nag-work o hindi po nag-pan out yung business na sinimulan ko. Okay? Kaya po, I teach yung The Cautious Entrepreneur, which also I publish a book. Um, I don't know if you got copy in here. 
right? The closest entrepreneur. Because I would like to teach people that, hey, you know, uh, business, there's a risk. Like in anything in life, meron namang pong risk. But it doesn't have to be risky. Okay, magkaiba po kasi yung risk versus risky. It's one of those favorite things na sinishare ko po uh, inside my books to the difference. And you can start a business now, especially with the internet, without taking so much risk, unlike before. Okay? So again, the first criteria natin na business ating pag-uusapan today, number one, zero or very Small capital lang, if any. Number two, you can start part-time. So, ano bisa being part-time? You can do this before you go to your work or after your work or even over the weekend. Okay? Right? And then, lastly, is you can do this all from home. Right? Because obviously, the biggest challenge by many businesses out there is you always have to meet people, you have to travel. It wastes a lot of your time. But what if we can just start a business ng nasa bahay lamang po? Right? Would that be great? Okay. Type great. All right. Okay. And then we will start in about, uh, again, in about a few minutes. Um, of course, Merry Christmas kay uh, Ramon, kay Mark. Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, and to everyone who are listening right now, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo and uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. So, simulan na natin. Okay. Uh, now, I got to tell you up front, wala pong business that is perfect for everyone. So, kanya-kanya po tayo. You have to pick one that you think suits best. Something that you can execute. That's the most important part. It's not about learning. Though I really appreciate that you join me live. Pero kung wala naman po kayong i-apply sa mga akin pong ituturo, well, quite frankly, nasayang lamang po ang oras ninyo. Okay, so the key here is execution. So pick one, put your head down, and work on it for the 2021. And I gotta tell you, on next year, the same time next year, magmari mag Facebook live rin ako, and you just gonna share your success stories, right? I have many students po na natalungan na natin that already made millions in uh, working from home, running their own businesses. Okay, and uh, if you're going to ask me, Sir John, what made them successful, and that is yung persistency. Persistent, rather, and consistency. Persistent. Because sa negosyo po ba, let me ask you a question. Sa negosyo po ba, there, will there be an obstacles? Will there be a challenges? Will there be a setbacks? Sa tingin po ninyo, can you type in your response sa ating pong comment, right? Absolutely. There will be always challenges. So instead of like just simply moving away, running away from challenges, embrace it. Accept it that any challenges that you face, it is part of becoming an entrepreneur. It makes you a better person. It makes you smarter. It makes you stronger. So that's the thing. Okay? So again, yun po, sa, yun po ang katotohanan sa pagninegosyo. That is why anyone who tell, tells you na, oh, magnegosyo madali lang. Ganito lang ang gagawin mo. Blah, blah, blah. Well, Tumakbo na po kayo ng palayo. Okay? Because the reality in business, there will always be challenges. There will be obstacles. Now, there are businesses na talaga naman pong sakit lamang po ng ulo, especially this coming pandemic. By now, somehow nagkakaroon na po kayo ng mga idea ng mga businesses na kinakailangan ninyong iwasan because what happened with the pandemic and, and all those kind of stuff, eh, naging mahirap po, right? Ang, ang, ang pagninegosyo for some industries. Again, guys, if you're excited, let's get started. Do not forget, share po natin and like it so that other people can hear about what we do and we can help other people. All right? So, again, quick, quickly, three criteria na negosyo papasokin natin. Number one, zero or very limited capital. Number two, you can do this part-time. So, even if you have a full-time job, that is okay. Even if you take care of your little kids, that is okay. And number three, you can do this all from home. Okay? So, what are what are those things? Okay? Number one is what I call, I'm going to share with you guys, different business model. One of what's is yung tinatawag kong parang middleman business model. You're the middleman. So you don't have a product. You don't have a services. You're just the middleman. So basically, sa negosyo, there will always be businesses and there will always be consumer, the target market. So you'll be the one who will be the bridge between the two. Okay, you got to help them meet each other, and in, the, in, in return, you get 
a commission. So basically, you're like a commission base, okay? So one of which is the, the very basic one and probably one of the fastest way that you can start with is yung affiliate marketing. Okay, sino po dyan na nakarinig nun, ng word na yun, or maybe you are part of that thing, okay? Now, there are so many affiliate marketing platform out there, but I'm just gonna give you my top three favorite. Kasi po, sila po ay reliable, that's number one. Number two, they're not a scam because they've been there for like over a decade since I was starting in this business, existing na po sila. So, alam natin, and by later, you will know what are those businesses, okay? And then, uh... Number three, it can be profitable. Obviously, depending po sa amount of time and effort that you're going to give. Hey, listen, okay? I don't like sugar coating. I don't like making people feel good. But really, hindi naman yun yung totoo. Okay? In social media world, you have to stay up front. And I will be honest and brutally honest with you. Is that okay? Okay lang po ba? Can I be brutally honest with you guys? Okay, so here's the thing, my friend. Kung naghahanap ka ng negosyo nang wala ka masyadong gagawin, negosyong pang tamad, well, I gotta tell you right now, mawalang galang lang po. Okay? Pwede ka nang umalis. <laughs> okay? Because John Ranya is not like that. I teach people how to build a real business, a profitable business. And that requires work. Because for whatever reason, tung society natin, you know, uh, for whatever reason, they start to, to believe that idea that you can actually make a lot of money in business without doing anything at all. Right? Marami pong nangako sa kanila. Well, guess what? Sa negosyo, that's not a case. And that is the truth. Okay? That's a fact. Okay? So going back to what I'm saying, the first business model that I'll share with you guys, yung tawag ko pong middleman, the middleman a business model and one of which is yung affiliate marketing. So number one, ang pinaka talagang nagpasikat ng online affiliate marketing is yung Amazon. Okay? So basically, sa Amazon, magsa-sign up ka as an affiliate marketer. Okay? This was like back in the day nung libro pa lamang po ang binibenta ng Amazon. So what you gonna do is once you became, a, became an affiliate, bibigyan ka ni Amazon ng certain link say for book for example right and then when someone click on that link at bumili ng libro you get certain commission okay so that's affiliate marketing but i suggest when you do affiliate marketing pick you medyo mataas ang presyo so you get this because normally you get paid by certain commissions say five percent or ten percent right eh pagka five percent lang ng say uh, say, uh, you know, a $20 book, magkano lang yung commission mo. Okay? So, what I suggest is you pick maybe $50 or more na product that you can promote and then you get a certain commission. So, kung $50, sabi mo ng 10%, you got $5, $2.50, depende. A lot of thing people that I know in this business, they sell or they promote yung mga, uh, mga uh, equipment or like mga DSLR that cost $1,000. So you get 10%, $1,000, that's $100 in commission, right? So I suggest, again, you go to Amazon, sign up, or you can simply Google Amazon Affiliate Marketing and mag show up na po yung kanilang sign up form, and there you go. So just follow the instruction, fill out the form, and then pick different products that you can uh, promote. Where are you, where can you promote it? Well, depending po sa inyo yan. You can create a YouTube channel, for example. You can promote the product. Or you can blog. <clears throat> or you can use Facebook as well. Right? Um, you can even do podcasts anywhere where pretty much your target market can hear you and see you. Again, Amazon.com. Okay? So you can go there. Number two, when I was starting, okay, one of my favorite is yung uh, ClickBank.com. ClickBank, as in Banco. ClickBank. Com, that's one of my favorite. Again, guys, this business that I'm talking about has been there over a decade. So you do not even have question if they're legit or not, especially Amazon. <laughs> okay, that's like a billion dollar in this billion dollar company. Okay, so don't even think about that if they're real or not. Just just do what I say. <laughs> okay, 
clickbank.com. So ang Clickbank naman, mostly that they sell are mga digital products. Ebook, audiobook, video courses, right? So one of my favorite uh, when I was starting sa Clickbank, when I was promoting, there was like, I don't know, over a decade ago when I was just starting in online business, is meron po silang yung mga recurring income. So for example, merong isang affiliate, kunwari na lang, they sell a certain membership, say kunwari ng health and fitness, when con, 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 uh, consumer can subscribe to them, they say pay, for example, $50 and you get, I don't know, $10 commission for each one. Right? So $10 every month, you get $10 every month. So that's good. So you get 100, 10 people, $10 is $100 every month for you. Another thing, one of my favorites sa ClickBank is dahil nga po siya ay digital products. Right? So walang physical product, walang shinship, walang really yung cost of production mo is very, very small or minimal kung meron man. A lot of uh, uh, a lot of merchant na tinatawag sa ClickBank is they they give you 100% of the commission. Can you imagine yung iba 50% commission? Okay? So again, it's about number. So kunwari na lang $100 e, uh, uh, audio or video course, you get 100% of commission. Now you may be wondering Sir John why are they giving away 100% commission? Paano po sila kumikita? Natanong nyo ba yun? <laughs> okay. Magandang tanghali, Chris Mon. Nice shirt ko, John. Yan. Maraming salamat. Si French, Frenchie, Merry Christmas. Uh, si Rodolf yata ito. Selling other people's product. That's right. So, that's one of my favorites sa Clickbank. When I was starting again in this online business world, right? Just like many of you, they're trying to figure out how things work, one of which is yung ClickBank, one of my favorite, because they can, again, provide 75%, 55%, 75%, or even some even 100% commission. So kung, kung $50, say, na product, yung digital product, may bumili sa'yo through your link, okay? Again, basically, you just, just want to do it. Each one of them, you just have to sign up as an affiliate marketer. And then when you sign up, they're going to give you a special link at yung link na yun, yun ang ipopromote mo all over the place. At pag may nag-click noon at bumili, you get the commission. Again, the difference between, say, Amazon or ClickBank, sa Amazon is a physical product. So there is a cost of production and shipping and all. That is why they cannot give a lot of commission. Just small percentage lang. Kaya nga po, I suggest, pick na mga matataas na produkto, yung mga mahal na product, so that... Kahit man maliit lang yung percentage ng commission mo dahil mataas yung product, say $1,000, and bigyan ka ng 10% uh, ng, ng commission, that is still $100. Sa ClickBank, it is a digital products like an ebook, audiobook, video courses, membership site, all those kind of stuff so that they can, uh, they can uh, give away 50% if not 100% commission. Yung CJ Affiliate. Okay, when I was starting tong CJ Affiliate, na ang tawag ngayon, C as in uh, cash, J as in John, CJ Affiliate, i-google nyo na lamang po, search nyo sa Google. Originally, when I was starting there, called um, Commission Junction, ang tawag, right? So again, the same process, you just have to sign up. Once na-approve ang inyong pong membership, you, obviously you need an email address, then bibigyan kayo ng special link, and then you can promote whatever products that they sell sa kanila pong platform, and then from there, viola. Okay, when someone clicks on your link, may bumili, boom, meron kang commission. All right? So ito po yung ating one of those uh, business model, yung tinatawag natin yung middleman na uh, business model. Just give me a second in here. I'm trying to check. Okay, there you go. All right. Hmm. Okay, so yung iba nasa Chill Yunara community. By the way, guys, if you're not part of our Facebook group, you can just join our ating pong uh, Chill Yunario community. If you don't know what's how, how do you spell that, there you go. Chill Yunario community. Search po ninyo sa Facebook and be part of our amazing community. Okay, so again, that's the first business model. You can pick one. You can become an affiliate marketer middleman. Again, Three things, pasok sa kariteria natin. Number one, zero or very small capital kung meron man. Number two, you can do this part-time. Okay? And then number three, you can do this all from home. All right? So there you go. 
So now, the second uh, sort of a business model, this time, Mejo, it could be offline or it could be online. In fact, even before the internet, this kind of business model already exists. Ano po yun, yung tinatawag na joint venture. So think about it this way, right? May mga businesses po dyan that they are looking for customers, right? And then may mga businesses po dyan that generally speaking, they serve the same group of markets. So for example, kunwari na lang, um, again, just for the sake of this conversation, kunwari na lang ay, um, ano ba? Hmm. Let me see. Okay, so kunwari, there are two businesses. One business is yung accounting firm where he help uh, small business owners, okay, to prepare their taxes um, and all those kind of stuff, right? And then, the, for example, among there are uh, there are another business among, um, for example, is um, gumagawa siya ng graphics, say web design, logo for small business owners, right? So two different businesses, but they serve certain group of market. Do it make sense? Type yes, guys, if I'm making sense. Okay, so two different kind of businesses, but they serve the same target market. We say small business owners accountant who helps businesses to <clears throat> file taxes and all and the other businesses is do they do graphics design and, and you know maybe instagram whatsoever and serving small businesses as well as well so dito ka papasok in between because yung accounting business yung accountant may mga existing na client yan tama Ito namang uh, graphic design, web design, meron din siyang existing na kliyente. And they can actually work together. Right? So basically, si accountant, hey, promote mo yung accounting services ko, and then I'm gonna promote your web design services or your graphic design services. So your job, Sir John, paano po ko kikita dyan? Okay, is you find these two businesses, you talk to them, and then you ask commission for every referral for each one. So you can set it up in such a way na, you know, make simple tracking lang or whatsoever. You meet these two, and then you make commission for each. For example, yung pinasok nito, um, na business for this one, you get a commission. Yung pinasok na accounting, sa so web design, you get a commission. Okay, that is because of, uh, again, because of your health. Help. Right? So again, think about it this way. Marami pong small businesses dyan, they're all, they are struggling to get clients and, and customers. So if you go there in their small businesses, hey, would you like me to bring more cos customers to your business or clients or patients, depending on the type of business? Why would they say no? Right? The next question is you're going to ask, how? Well, I know a business that they have a client that they, that you would that, that potentially can be your client would that be okay so I mean, yeah sure okay and of course in return can i get a commission if i gave you that client so I mean, yeah for sure then you approach another business is the same thing hey would you would you like to get more clients for your business <laughs> why would they say no to that wala naman silang ilalabas na pera technically wala rin naman silang gagawin you got to do the work, okay? So you talk to this accountant or to this web design company. Yes, absolutely. How do you do that? So, Very well, I have a database of small business owners that you can offer your services to them. But in return, I get commission for each client na mapasok sa'yo. Would that be okay? Then you can maybe just discuss how much commission you're going to make. So that is what the very basic of joint venture Right, you you are part of bridging two businesses. You are part of solving people's problems. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, Merry Christmas, kay uh, of course sa mga bagong pasok kina Mai, Maji or Maggie at Tiensa. Um, yan si uh, si Facebook user. Walang name yung iba kasi walang uh, 
Hindi po lumalabas yung name ninyo dahil po you are probably part of my Facebook group. And um, kaya hindi ko po nakikita. I work, um, let me just see here real quick. Just give me a second uh, kung lalabas dito. Nope. Just give me a second. Okay, so I hope that you guys are learning. So I've shared with you guys two different business models so far. Number one is yung middleman o yung tinatawag na affiliate marketing. Well, technically, these two are under middleman. Affiliate marketing and yung joint venture, right? So uh, let me see here kung lalabas yung si Orphe pala. Orphe Janil, yan. Si Orphe Janil, ako inasa, currently nasa Canada. Magandang araw sa'yo. Okay. Nawala na ako. Okay. So there you go. Now let's talk about the other business model that I really love. Again, ang criteria natin, zero to small to very small capital kung meron man. Number two, you can start this part-time. And then number three, you can do this all from home. All right? So the, 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 when I was starting, this was my my business model in this online world. This is how I'm about to share with you guys how I made, how I made my very first $100 online. My first $100, malalaman po ninyo right now, okay? By the way, that $100, it took me a long time because hindi ko naman po siya inupuan. But nung inupuan ko po, uh, at some point, I made about uh, $3,000 or a little over $3,000 every month doing this part-time. Nasa bahay lamang po ako, nearly zero capital when I got started. You guys want to know? You guys excited? Type excited? Okay. Leave a, write a comment. It says excited and let's get rolling. Okay. Iinom lamang po real quick. Okay, dokie. So, <clears throat> Just give me a moment here. Okay. There you go. So, Sir John, ano po yung business model na yun na tinatawag mo? Okay. Okay. And this is yung tinatawag na advertising. Okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. Baka kung ano na pong konsepto na sa isip ninyo ng advertising. Basically, this is how it works. <clears throat> If you are a publisher, say you have a website, a blog, a YouTube channel, or a Facebook channel, you can make money from advertising, right? So let me explain. Kayo po ba, have you ever had experience that when you visit a certain website, you can see all the ads, right? Either on top, the left-hand side, or the right-hand side, right? So basically, that's how it works is you sign up, say, for example, yung tinatawag na Google AdSense. Search na lamang po. Google AdSense. Okay? That's Mike. You guys can hear me clearly? Parang nawala yata ako. Naririnig niyo po ba ako? Just wanna be sure. Parang nawala yata ako. Test mic, one, two, three. Audio is okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go back. I thought I lost you guys. All right, okay. So basically, that's going back to what I'm saying. Okay? <clears throat> one of which is yung uh, Google AdSense. So if you're gonna Google search for it, you can, you can register. That is completely for free. But first, let me explain how do you make money from that. So going back to what I'm saying, meron po ba kayong pagkakataon that you visit a website and then nakita niyo po yung mga, yung mga ads sa kanilang website. So how they make money is when someone clicks on that ad, they're gonna make a certain amount of money. Okay? So that's how it works. So obviously, the more website visitors that you have, the more click that you get, the more money that you make. That's what I was saying. Back in uh, maybe 06, 07, 2006, 2007, um, siguro at, at, at the peak of my, uh, when I was doing that, I was making about a little over $3,000 all from home. There was like, it was the time na talaga pong I feel so rich already. 
Para po kasi ako merong ATM machine. Yung website ko po para siyang ATM machine. I was so happy. Um, that's one of which is Google AdSense. Now, kung kayo po rin ay minsan nanonood ng YouTube and then suddenly in the middle of the video, mayroon pong isang commercial, right? Advertisement or advertisement. Ano bang pronunciation? I guess advertisement, right? It's the same thing. So yung YouTube na yon, yung YouTube channel na yon, they make money as well from, that is right, from advertising. So you can put up a YouTube channel. You can put up a blog. Now, Facebook, have you also had an experience na nanonood po kayo ng video sa Facebook? It's the same thing. While you are in the middle, right? Meron po doon makikita nyo parang umiikot na ganon. And then bigla magkikik in yung commercial. While in the middle of the video, for like 15 seconds, right? That's how, again, that's how they make money. So if you publish a lot of videos on YouTube or say in Facebook, you're gonna make good money uh, from that. And again, that is sort of form of advertising, okay? So again, mapapansin po ninyo, iba't iba. For some people, right, Sir John, you know, hindi naman ako mahilig sa video, you know? Um, Mahiyain po ako or all those kind of stuff. Well, maybe that's not what that's not the best business model for you. But what I'm trying to do here and showing you guys na wala na pong excuse. Na Sir John, gusto mag-business kaya lang wala akong oras, wala akong pera. Well, guess what? Napakarami pong negosyo dyan ang hindi mo kinakailangan na maraming oras at lalong-lalong hindi mo kinakailangan na maraming pera. But you just have to be creative. Okay? Kasi po yung iba, merong excusitis. Alam niyo po yun? <laughs> Can you type in? Leave a comment. Excusitis. Right? Ito po yung sakit hmm. ng madami. Yung maraming, alam niyo na. Right? Sino dyan ang guilty? Type guilty. Okay? Well, 2021 na po, it is about to step up. Step up your game because with the technology internet, internet. Tingnan niyo po. Can you type in? Saan po kayo ngayon, right? I can see from someone in here from Abu Dhabi, right? Uh, for, for those who just join us, can you type in kung saan po kayo nakikinig ngayon? So that everyone can see how powerful this, um, this internet and technology is, right? What excuses that you guys have? No time, no money, what? You don't... Sir John, Gusto ko talaga magnegosyo eh. Gusto ko mag-franchise ng Jollibee kaya lang wala po akong kapital. Well, sino may sabi sa yung Jollibee ang kapital mo? Kinakailangan Jollibee ang kunin mo that you need uh, apparently 37 million or 40 million. I cannot remember. You see, we have uh, from Abu Dhabi, from Pangasinan, Batangas. We have from Taiwan, Philippines. We have from Saskatoon, Canada. So, Apayao Province. We have from Imus. We have from Nebraska. Right? Uh, um, what else? Who are these free people from? From, from obviously from Batangas, Valenzuela, Tagbilaran, we have from Makati, Marikina. There you go. We have a few people from Taiwan. La Trinidad Benguet, Colorado, USA, Sikkim, right? Sa Davao City, we have from Mindanao, all over the place. So instead of you just wasting your time using the technology in the internet, might as well pagkakitaan nyo na po. Be a student. Again, the key here is just pick one. From what I'm saying, just pick one, put your head down, and then just go for it. Just do your work. Just move forward, right? Again, the key here is execution. Execution. That is the key. We have from CDO, General Santos, and another person from Taiwan. Silang Cavite, Quezon City, uh, a lot of people from Quezon City, sa Cebu, Baguio. You guys can see, we are from different part of the world. Not just the Philippines, but the world. So think about your income goal and think about the billions of people na, na nasa internet. Apparently, uh, Facebook alone, there are like 2 billion people are using Facebook actively. There are so many ways to make money, but you just have to take action. And if you're going to ask me, Sir John, how would I... Keep my momentum going. I'm so excited. I'm so happy from what I'm learning from you. But how do I keep myself motivated? Step one, as soon as matapos ito, you do something. That's the thing. 
whether you sign up for Google AdSense, you sign up for Amazon.com, or you, you call two businesses, you joint venture na senior ko po sa inyo anina, or you sign up for Google AdSense, or maybe you've published your very first YouTube video or Facebook video, right? Do something. That is a key. Okay, faith without action is dead. Faith without action is dead, right? And as you keep doing this, you get better, you get better, you get better, you get more, you get, you get, uh, you become more confident, right? Because a lot of people watching me and videos and all, they think na parang uh, for whatever reason, eh, they think na nagsimula ako mag video, is confident now. No, hindi nyo lang po na panood yung mga una ko mga luma pa mga videos. I'm not as confident as I was, as I'm today. So going back to what I'm saying, advertising, right? Google AdSense, search for that, or you know, a YouTube video as well. So, so you can YouTube rather, you can make money from YouTube by publishing videos, and of course, your Facebook as well. So pick one again from what I've shared so far. So just a recap again for those who just came who came late. There are uh, different business models that I've been sharing. One of uh, I think that the best businesses that you guys can start. Number one, zero capital to leave very little capital. Number two, <clears throat> you can do this part time, and number three, you can do this all from home. Okay. So number one is your middleman business model. This is where you can become an affiliate marketing from Amazon.com, ClickBank, or CJ affiliate. Number two is your joint venture when you meet two different businesses. Okay. Ito po malaki ang kitaan because. If you can help two businesses make more money, they'll be happy to pay you, right? Number three is your advertising again by uh, via ad Google AdSense, right? Whether mag YouTube channel ka or mag blog ka, basically you make money from whenever someone clicks an ad. And then of course, Facebook meron na po ngayong bago where you can also uh, if you publish several videos. Hindi ko alam kung anong exactly yung requirement ni uh, Facebook, pero meron po siyang requirement na after you've published certain video, suddenly pwede ka nang kumita sa mga videos mo. Right? And the third business model, these are my, my, my third and fourth business models. This is one of my favorite because generally speaking, maybe 90% of my, my income, the revenue of my business came from what I'm about to share with you guys. And for some of you, medyo alam nyo na yun, okay, but Maybe just a quick introduction lang for those who na hindi pa po alam. Okay? My favorite business model, if you can ask me, Sir John, you, how do you make money? Okay? Number one is yung selling digital products. Okay? So if it's your first time to hear about it, digital product, it's like, uh, say, an ebook, for example. An ebook is something that you can read uh, on your device, a mobile phone. Uh, iPad, iPhone, computer, pretty much. So yun po yun, e-book. So anong difference nito, Sir John, sa physical book? <laughs> okay. The difference is as a computer file. Think about it. It is a computer file. Pag sinasabi ko po ito sa tao, you know, I'm just reminding them, you are selling a computer file. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine what I just said? Computer file, you don't need manufacturing. You don't have to go to China, find a, a, a manufacturer. You don't need to pag may order sa You don't need to pack it and ship it to JRS whatsoever. <laughs> Computer file. You can make millions of copies, and yet your cost of production was very much the same thing. So you get a hundred percent of profit. It's one of my favorite. Okay, when I was starting, ito po yung naging transition ko. Because mas consistent ang pasok ng pera. And before you even hear about me, I've sold over 23 million pesos of worth of ebooks alone. Yes, so that's why I know what I'm talking about. Whenever pag usapan po natin is digital product. So ebook is one of them. If you are someone, Sir John, di man ako magsulat, well, you can hire a college student, maybe a uh, college professor maybe you can pay them or you can go to places like upwork.com and hire a freelancer okay that's one thing that you can do or one of my very first product po na binenta sa philippine market i sold over 3 million pesos that is nearly 100 percent profit is audiobook so if you purchase one of my product your first steps to freedom that is basically an audiobook so basically what's an audiobook sir john ano po ba yon? 
Well, it's like someone reading your book. <laughs> Parang ganun. So instead of binabasa mo, pinapakinggan mo. Right? So chapter one, blah, 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 blah. Chapter two, blah, blah, blah. So these are your exercises. Do this, do that. So that is an audio book. So a lot of people love audio book because you can listen to it while you're jogging, while you're driving, you're washing the dishes. Unlike ng book that you have to sit down and really commit to read yung content. Okay? So how much can you charge for an ebook? Well, I suggest for an ebook, you can charge as little as uh, uh, $20. To fifty dollars, an audiobook you can charge fifty dollars to more or less a hundred dollars. Okay, so as you guys can see, you just sell a few. Bayad na yung mga monthly bills niyo, kuryente, tubig, upa, gas sa sakyan, or kung meron kayo nulugan sa bahay, whatsoever. All right, so just a few copies and viola. The third product that you guys can create, of course, meron tayong ebook, meron tayong audiobook, is video videos. Right, so, so video course, o yung mga iba, tag na online course. Okay, so ano naman ang difference on Sir John? Well, video is video. <laughs> you teach in a video, pwedeng like this one, talking head, or you can write something, demonstrate, parang screen share or something like that. Okay, well, you can demonstrate the video. Or let's say, say you want to play, you love playing guitar, Right? Have a tripod, a simple tripod, click press and record your camera, and then teach teach people on how to play guitar. Simple as that, right? Or you want to help people budgeting their money, then maybe you can become a, a, a creative video on how to, you know, budget this and that. There you go. Or how to use Excel file, right? I have so many students, guys. I cannot even... Um, start with this, that have sold hundreds of thousands, yung iba millions of pesos of video courses. I have many students. And uh, if you go to Negos University, and if you're subscribers of mine, and if you're followers of mine, you probably heard some of them. Okay, so it's very, very profitable. Why? It is a digital file. <laughs> it is a computer file. Sana po mag-sing in yan kasi marami yung mga, alam nyo, mga kababayan natin, maraming gusto mag-negosyo. Ano bang gusto mo? Restaurant. Well, okay, magkano capital mo in the beginning to get a restaurant? O gusto mo mag-franchise ng shawarma? Okay, wala naman problema sa akin. Eh. Negosyo mo yan. Eh. Right? Pera mo yan. But think about all the cost just to get started in that kind of business. And of course, yung overhead. Think about it that way. Okay, yung iba dyan, sabihin, Ah uh, well, in this business you can make this. You know we have a sale, blah 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 blah. We have a revenue, blah blah blah. Yeah, pero ilan yung profit mo jan? A digital products, relatively speaking, compared to other businesses, must profitable. Why? It is a computer file. Yung video you don't even have to hire a host. You can just upload it on YouTube. There you go. <laughs> okay, so. So ebook you can just email to your client, to your customers. Kung sino man ang bumili sa inyo. So again, digital products, selling digital products. Yung last part, this can be the most profitable among all I'm about to share with you guys. Okay, are you guys excited? Are you ready? Type ready. Leave a comment. Ready. At pag na natin, this is the most profitable, I would say, among all the business models that I share with you. But then again, katulad po nung sinabi ko from the very beginning. Wala pong negosyo that is perfect for everyone. So just pick what you think that you can execute and then go from it. Go from there. Okay? So what works for me, that necessarily works for you and vice versa. Okay? So very, very important. So it's not like, nah, I don't think I can do that. Nah, I don't think I can do that. Nah. Right? Please, yung excusitis, kinakailangan maalis na natin yan eh. 2021 na eh. Okay? Kung pwede lang mayroong vaccine para matanggal ang excusitis, gagawin natin. Pero wala pong vaccine eh. Okay, so we have to take action. So kung gusto po ba ninyo, gusto po ba ninyo by next year, December 24, 2021, gusto po ba ninyo yung idea na your income is 5 times if not 10 times with what you have right now? Would that be exciting? Right, well guess what? Hindi po darating si Santa Claus at biglang sasabihin, Yay! Your income, I'm gonna multiply your income by five times. 
Ten times. Hindi po mangyayari yun. Ang tawag po doon, hallucination. Okay? Nag-hallucinate ka lang. Okay? If you want a better Christmas by December 2021, asing talagang ang grande, yung bongga ang handa ninyo. Well, guess what? Ngayon pa lang, okay, gawin nyo na po, pick one business model that I've been sharing with you guys Put your head down and just concentrate on it. That's it. Okay? Lahat po ng mga shinare ko sa inyo, guys, these are proven business model. You don't even have to question it at all. Okay? Especially po sa digital products and what I will share with you guys. Because my business has generated over 120 million pesos sharing what I'm... Oh, oh. Base, uh, rather, yung, the last business model that I'll be sharing with you guys. Digital products and yung service-based business. So, ano po yung service-based? Okay, basically, two things. Number one is coaching and number two is consulting. Let me explain. Coaching, of course, from the word, from the phrase itself, from the name itself, is you coach people. Okay, so again, I've coached a lot of coaches out there in the Philippines. They either, they part of my uh, community or they've attended my seminar or they bought my courses in the Philippines. I would say Modesty Asai, Negos University is probably one of those company, if not the company that has produced many coaches information marketer or information publishing. So yung information publishing, ito yung nagbibenta ng e-book, audiobook, video courses. Modesty aside, Negosio University is probably the biggest because ito po yung concentration ng mga training namin, mga courses namin, program is basically on these two business model, coaching and consulting. So Sir John, paano po yung coaching? Okay, kunwari na lang, sino dyan ang mga example? Ano po ba yung, uh, kunwari, saan kayo magaling? Can you type in sa chat box kung saan po yung uh, paborito ninyo, maaaring uh, hobbies ninyo, or uh, you're not necessarily an expert, but you enjoy it, you love it. Can you type in sa comment below? Ano po yung mga activities or books na binabasa ninyo? Kung meron man, mahilig kang magbasa ng certain book, a certain topic, or certain activities that you really can't, uh, you, ito lang yung lagi mong ginagawa, yung hobbies mo maybe. Can you leave a comment below? And then maybe we can start from that. So that I can give you more idea. So, ano po yung TAM program? Uh, TAM program, um, wala yung name niya. But that's one of my program that I released early 2019 to help people to dominate their market. Yung Trusted Advisor Mastery Program. Trusted Advisor. So I have a lot of mga sabihin na natin medyo sikat na mga coaches na ngayon sa Philippines. We're part of TAM. Ayan. Cooking, there you go. Cynthia Magallanes. So, kunwari, si Cynthia Magallanes. So, guess what? I have two students. They already made millions from cooking. So, they love cooking. So, this is what you're going to do. Next time, okay, if you want to become a coach, shoot video, okay, um, two, two business models that you can do this. You can either shoot a video with the recipe and all, and sell that video on how to cook a certain food. Okay, you can sell it. Now, 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 please, please, before you even tell me, Sir John, because one of my favorite objection ng maraming nakakapakinig po kay Sir John is, Sir John, may bibili pa ba niyan? Eh, lahat nasa Google na. Lahat nasa YouTube na. Right? Sino dyan ang nakaka-relate from, uh, from that objection in your head? So, dyan may bibili ba talaga niyan? Eh, lahat nasa YouTube na. Listen, I cannot, hindi ko na po mabilang sa daliri ko ang mga isudyante kong kumita na ng milyon from what I've been sharing with you guys. So, please, wag mo nang questionin. Okay? I have two students. They already made millions from cooking. That's right. I have one friend of mine. Ang ginawa niya namang business model is advertising. Ano yun? 
Nagpublish lang siya ng mga videos, iba't iba ang paraan pagluto ng pandesal. <laughs> okay? He's probably making about a little over a thousand dollars every month just by publishing his video how to cook pandesal. Please, wag mo nang question it. Just do what I say, be consistent, then you come back. Tell me if I'm lying. <laughs> okay? I gotta tell you that will work. But the key there is you have to do this and you have to be consistent. Okay? So another one is gardening. Silonique Leon, Leon Seal. Right? So you can teach people how to do that thing. You can become a coach. A lot of people would like to know. One of the most popular one is yung bonsai plant. I don't know how do they sell it, how do they market it, but I've seen it all over the place. How to grow a bonsai plant. You can create a video. You can coach people. Sir John, how do you coach them? Well, technically what we're doing right now is coaching, right? You can uh, sign up for Skype. That is for free. You can uh, coach them via Zoom. That is also for free. You can do a video like this or video messenger lang kayo. That is also for free. You teach them step by step. Here's the thing that you need to remember, guys, with coaching. Most people, most of your target market out there are beginners. Baguhan lang. So what seems to be easy for you, para kasi ganun po ang tendency natin eh. Pag medyo sanay ka sa ginagawa na yun, medyo lagi mong ginagawa, you feel what? Magaling ka ron eh. You feel like, oh, but cooking, I'm... Everybody knows that, right? So, for example, a man, si uh, Leonicio, Leon, Leoncio, gardening, well, madali lang naman eh. May bibili ba? Are you sure, Sir John? May bibili nito? Listen, madali sa'yo. For most people, hindi po madali. Okay, so that's one thing that you need to remember. Okay? Coaching, that's one of my favorite. I have different programs that I coach people. I've coached people on how to start an online business. Maybe narinig na po yung Internet Business Masterclass or IBMC. Sino dyan ang uh, mga estudyante ko po? Type Yahoo. <laughs> Leave a comment ng Yahoo yung mga estudyante ko dyan sa IBMC. That's one thing. Okay? I have also yung Certified Advisor Program. I, well, ito naman mamaya. Tuturuan ko naman yung uh, people who would like to become a consultant, Facebook marketing consultant. Because probably by now, you've seen at least one of my video or ads on Facebook, right? So I teach people on how to advertise on Facebook and how to charge money as a Facebook marketing consultant, which is yun yung last business model that I'll be sharing with you guys is you can become a marketing consultant, okay? So <clears throat> basically, this is how it works. And this is what you need to understand. Many small businesses own, business owners Okay, they started a business, for example, kunwari na lang, is dental clinic. Right? Yun yung negosyo nila. Typically, yung naglo-launch sa inyo ng dental clinic, malamang po dyan dentista rin. Tama? Or yung naglo-launch ng, say, web design services, malamang yan web designer. Or naglo-launch ng, say, accounting firm, malamang yan accountant. Okay? So generally, Speaking, a lot of them, they are good at their vocation or the technical stuff that they're doing. But the problem for many small business owners, kaya po marami ang nalulugi, is they are weak at marketing and selling their services. So, accountant, magaling yan sa accounting. Hindi yan naman maglulunch ang sarili niyang business kung hindi siya komportable sa skill set niya. But the problem is getting clients for his accounting firm. Dental clinic is the same thing. The problem is bringing more patients to his clinic to get his, you know, services, whether paglinis ng ipin, braces, whatsoever. So here you come. As a Facebook marketing consultant, this is what I teach. One of my programs, your certified advisor program, I teach people how to become a Facebook marketing consultant. So two steps po. Or basically, three steps. Yung three C's na binabanggit ko lagi sa training namin. Number one is yung capabilities. So obviously, kung hindi mo alam pa mag-advertise sa Facebook, so that's the first step that we do, is we teach you Facebook skills. Kung po, I've spent millions of pesos on Facebook ads. So I can confidently say, 
That, by the way, that's my own money. Okay? Millions of pesos of my own money. Hindi po yan pera ng kliyente. My own money. Because iba po kasi pag sarili mong pera yung itinataya mo eh. Hindi yung pera ng kliyente. Mas maingat ka, mas wise ka sa mga decision mo pagka pera na po ng pera mong sarili kasi yung lalabas eh. So, again, I teach people how to advertise on Facebook. And then lastly, or yung, of course, yung C, diba? number one is capability. Number two is yung confidence. Because to become a con consultant, you need some confidence. Hindi lang po is skill set. Confidence to deal with the clients. Confidence to charge money. So how much money can you charge as a Facebook marketing consultant? 30000 a month, 50000 a month, as much as 150000 pesos per month. Again, pasok po dito sa three categories natin. Ano yung three criteria natin? Sino po dyan na nakakalala? Yung three criteria na mga businesses na pinag-uusapan po natin ngayon. Number one is, ano? Tingnan ko nga. Number one, yung zero capital or zero small capital or very limited capital. Number two, you can do this part-time. And number three, you can do this all from home. So lahat po ng mga senior ko sa inyo, pasok po dun sa tatlong sinabi ko. Again, napakarami pong negosyo na po pwede ninyong simulan. But some, it requires a large of capital. Some, you need to be full-time. Some, you have to travel a lot. But, why would you travel if you can just work from home? Because ito pong ginagawa ko po for many years. Kung nakikita po ninyo yung background ko, I'm just here in my small office. This has been my business, my my home, my, my office po for many years na po. Okay, because I just love working from home. I just like working with just my t-shirt, shorts, pajama. Have a, have a chill in our lifestyle, right? So, again... So just a quick recap lang for those who just came late. We've talked about basically three to four business model. Okay, number one is yung middleman. You can become an affiliate marketer by major affiliate marketing company. Number one, Amazon, ClickBank, and CJ Affiliate. Do, those three lamang po. Yung iba dyan, hindi ko kasi alam ko ano yung quality ng product nila. So personally, I don't want you to become an affiliate marketer of products that hindi mo masabi kung quality Right? Because, you know, ayoko po kayo magbenta ng basura na nagbibenta kayo lang para makakomisyon. Huwag naman pong ganun. Okay? Dahil yung mga bibili po niyan, tapos binentahan nyo ng basura, come on, pinaghirapan po nila yung pera. Huwag pong ganun. Okay? Huwag po tayong ganun. Let's just sell quality products, program, and courses that really helps them. Number two, yung joint venture when you partner with different businesses. Right? You can do this all, all by phone. Right? You can talk to accountant, you can talk a web designer, graphic artist, much Mozilla. Okay? Number three is your advertising. Again, you can make money from advertising, say a blog or article or website, or you via your YouTube channel or your Facebook videos. Kaya nakita po ninyo, marami na ngayon gumagawa ng mga Facebook videos. Pansin po ba yun? Right? Because they can make money from that. And then, of course, yung last two, which is my favorite, which is where I make most of my money, creating digital products, okay, like ebooks, audiobooks, and video courses. Again, you can sell $20 to $100 to $300. So my most expensive, I think, videos is about $300 or about 15,000 pesos, okay? Selling to the Philippine market. So before you even think, Sir John, may bibili ba niyan sa Philippine market? Absolutely. You just do what I say and you will be surprised, Okay? And then, of course, yung coaching, right? This is one of my favorite. I would say big chunk of my income right now is coming from coaching because a lot of people would like to hire me as their coach. Unfortunately, because some people, Sir John, can I do one-on-one? -on -one? So most of my coaching right now is group coaching because ang, uh, because my one-on-one uh, -on -one 12-month coaching is about over 300,000 pesos to get me as a coach. And I know that a lot of Filipinos cannot, cannot afford 300,000 to get me as a one-on-one -on -one coach. So then I have to pick a group coaching where you still get a chance of coaching from me, pero in a group setup. So parang isang klase kayo, isang, isang batch kayo, right? Parang kayo magkaklase. So that way, you don't have to invest that much money. 
Okay? Yung coaching program ko po, it is uh, as little as 25,000 per student up to about 75,000 in a group coaching program. Again, one-on-one -on -one coaching ko is over 300,000 pesos. So for some, you get one, one student for 300,000 pesos a month. Masaya ka na. Right? So depende po again sa income goal ninyo, depende po sa sa business model ninyo, depende how do you want to live your life. Kaya po yung tinatawag ko pong chillionario, chillionario, it doesn't mean by being lazy and doing nothing. No, chillionario means we prioritize lifestyle over profits. We prioritize lifestyle over profits. Meaning, you decide what kind of life do you want. Gusto mo ba nung isa probinsya na lang? Right? So, John, gusto ko actually sa probinsya namin eh. Sariwang hangin, kababa ang crime rate, but I can make good money. That's okay. So, John, ako po yung medyo, ano, gusto ko, I love to travel. Right? I can just bring my laptop, work anywhere. That is okay too. O ikaw yung medyo mas corporate, gusto mo yung medyo fix, may office ka, that is okay too. That's what Chilionary is all about. There are people love waking up early morning to do their work. Ako po, medyo more of like an early morning person ako. Kaya unusual po sa akin actually this time of the day. Uh, but <clears throat> I love communicating with my uh, followers and sa atin sa Negosyo University. So, yeah. So that's what Chilinari is all about. You design a business that, you, you, you number one, you define what is the lifestyle that you want. Because a lot of people, they've designed business. A, a, a life based on other people's opinion. They base it because they want to please their parents. They want to please their siblings. They want to please people that they respect. Pero yung buhay na naman nila, hindi naman sila masaya. So now, 2021 naman po, and I'm gonna end in this part of our live broadcast. My friend, I'm challenging you right now. And I believe, I do not believe in accident. I believe that you are here for a reason. I do not believe that accident mo lang na-click yung video ko maybe sa Facebook, whatnot, and then you start following me. I don't believe in that. I believe that there's really a reason. And one of my mission in life is to help Filipinos have their own business and make them realize, hey, employment is not the only options that you have. If you're happy with your job, that is okay. Well, guess what? Statistics shows that most people are not happy with their jobs. Kaya nga sabi, there's a statistics na, what? Mas masaya ang tao pag Friday, malungkot, mas malungkot ang tao pag Sunday or Monday. Why do you think that is the case? You know, marami pong statistics yan, huh? This is not like my opinion. You can just Google it. People are generally happier. Mas masaya sila pag Friday. Bakit kaya? Right? That is because they're not happy with their jobs. That's it. And again, that's what Chilionari is all about. Number one, you design a lifestyle. Anong oras ka mo gustong gumising? Anong klaseng buhay ang gusto mo? Right? Are you like me, my hands on father? I love spending time with my little boys. Tatlo na po sila. When I started, just one, one kid. Ngayon po, tatlo na. I get a chance to volunteer sa school. I get a chance to bring them sa sports. Nagpa-practice kami ng basketball lang ako. We bring them soccer. I'm there, hands on. They can see me. I'm always here. I'm always available for them. You define. Some people, gusto ko, Sir John, maging next Jack Ma ko, or next, next uh, you know, Mark Zuckerberg ng Facebook, or next, uh, you know, si, uh, si Jack Ma pala ng Alibaba, right? That's completely up to you. If that's how you see entrepreneurship is all about, you want to be the next uh, Elon Musk ng Tesla, right? Or uh, si, um, si, uh, si Jeff Bezos ng Amazon, some people see it that way. That's okay. Buhay mo yan eh. Pero yun nga po eh. That's the key is you define ano nga bang gusto kong buhay? Yung tipong every morning you are excited to wake up instead of yung hinihila mo yung paa mo 
papunta sa trabaho mo. Right? Because I keep telling people that. Hey, listen. Okay? Kunwari na lang 30 years old ka. And then magre-retire ka kunwari ng 65. Right now, you hate your job. You hate your current situation, your financial situation. Are you telling me that you're gonna stay where you are for the next 35 years of your life, dragging your feet to work every morning, hating yourself every Monday? Is that is that what you're saying to me? Oh boy, you gotta wake up, right? Kaya po ko sa inyo ngayon mga different businesses because I'm not one of those people gonna say blindly. George, go, 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 go quit your job and start your business? Absolutely not. Kaya nga po, cautious entrepreneur. Kaya nga po, what I've been sharing with you guys, number one, zero little capital. Number two, startup. You can do this part-time. And then number three, you can do this all from home. Those are three business models. Because I understand, because I was there. I was an employee for a little over eight years. Alam po ba niyo, sino po ba dyan nakaka-relate? Yung feeling mo parang isda na wala sa tubig. Not every day you cannot wait to get out of your office and do something, do other things, do something that you enjoy. But unfortunately, you have to stay in the office for 8, 9, 10 hours or even more every single day. So normally, paglabas mo, pagod ka na sa trabaho. Pagod ka na sa araw-araw. One of the things that I started when I was starting, I'm going to end in here. Sabi ko, gusto ko ng negosyo that if I want to play basketball anytime, say after lunch or before lunch, I can just go. I designed it that way. Remember guys, when I was starting, hindi ko alam na all the designing that I'm doing has, has a merit. Alam niyo, parang nasa isip ko lang. This is what I want. Until you start things happening and and then suddenly you look back and it's like, oh my God. Lahat pala nung, well, hindi naman lahat, but a lot of things in my head ay nangyayari. And that's what being a trillionaire is all about. So ngayon po, obviously, because of the pandemic, medyo ibang istorya. Pero for the pandemic, is I can go to the gym, play basketball for about an hour, before I go for lunch and then go back to work and do my stuff. I can even take a nap in the middle of the day. That's the power of being a chillionarius. It's more of the mindset and psychology. Number one, you design a lifestyle that you want. Anong oras mong gumising? Anong ginagawa mo sa araw-araw mo? And all those kinds of number two, you design a business that supports that lifestyle. Because again, magkakaiba po tayo ng gusto sa buhay. So yung gusto ko, not necessarily for you and vice versa. Okay, kung pangarap mo magkaroon ng Rolls Royce, magkaroon ng private jet, maybe nasa Forbes Park ka, go for it. Just design a business that supports that. So kanya-kanya po tayo. So I know, I really hope guys that ito pong ating live broadcast. I'm gonna, gonna stay for a few more minutes kung meron po kayong question. Leave a comment below. I'm gonna start in about a few minutes and then... I will try to answer your questions, right? Before we end this broadcast, this is our Facebook Noche Buena live because uh, alam ko po in about maybe a few hours, eh, magkakaroon na po ng Noche Buena sa atin. Eh, but instead of giving you something, sabi dun sa, <clears throat> there was a, a wonderful quote, sabi dun, um, give a man a fish and you feed him a day. Teach them how to fish. You feed them a lifetime. And that's what my negotiation university is all about. And this is what John Ranya is all about. Is I'm not, yeah, I'm not giving you fish. I'm not giving you ayuda. But I'm trying to teach you how to fish so that you can feed yourself without relying on government, without relying on someone giving you a job, without relying on someone giving you salary. You have control, my friend. I got to tell you right now. You have power in your hands. You just have to take action. Okay? So, wala po ba yung question? Uh, get good, Jerry. Magandang araw sa'yo. Merry Christmas. Um, uh, thank you then, Kim Wab. Magandang araw din po sa inyo. Um, who else? Mga Anjali. 
Sabi ni Angeli, pakita ko lang po sa inyo. Marketing is crucial part of any business. That is right. Um, itong one of the skill set down ni Nets Guerrero. How to make money, how to make inventory report using MS Excel. Absolutely. That's one thing either you can create a video that shows you step by step how to do that or you can coach people. So the first key nets is you need to know sino yung mga tao, the group of people that will be interested with that um, skill set that you guys have. Obviously, hindi naman lahat ng tao would like to know about that. Right? Uh, again, guys, if you have any question, type in, uh, I'm going to stay here for a few more minutes to answer your question. Tanong ni Ruel Teham. The model of field based business meron bang cost kailangan? Uh, Roel, two things. Pwedeng wala, pwedeng meron. Uh, uh, you just basically sign up for affiliate marketing. Then they're going to give you a link. Then you just promote that link. Right? So you can go blogging for free. You can do YouTube channel for free. Create this Facebook for free. That's okay. Yung iba na mga ginagawa nila, ina-advertise nila. So dito na papasok yung cost na tinatanong mo. If you you found the product really really good, you can promote it in Facebook. Of course gagastos ka, but then meron ka namang commission. Kaya po very important that when you promote a certain product, pick one that is high high profit. So kung Amazon, may, may small percentage lang yung commission mo, pero kung $1000 product naman like mga DSLR or GoPro and all those kind of stuff maganda pa rin ang returns. Kung digital product naman, which is my favorite, right? So let's say ClickBank or CJ Affiliate, that's much better. Okay, so it really depends on how you want to execute it. But the point there is you need to promote the product. Right? You need to promote the product. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Uh, tanong ni Gabriel Duldulao, uh, Ko John, streaming is good po ba? Uh, like what I'm doing right now, um, I like I like it in a way that I can reach a lot of uh, a lot of people and people who follow me at Negotial University. So, um, pero this is stream, there is no business model in here. There's I don't make money from streaming. This is more of like giving value to my community. And hopefully, it's one of my strategy as well. Uh, yun din po ang gagawin niyo sa business. So hopefully, Magustuhan ng tao, and if they like me, ganun lang naman, and not everyone gonna like you. Okay, sa so ganitong negosyong ginagawa ko po, not everyone gonna like you. You have to accept that <laughs> as a fact. No matter how good you are, smart you are, some people will like you, some people will hate you. And my job is not to please those who hate me, but my job is to please those who like me, serve them with, with, with the best of my ability. Okay? Uh, happy holiday. Sabi ni Stay inspired pH. Yes, maraming salamat. Get good, Jerry. When is your next training? Um, Jerry, ano bang uh, training yung tinatanong mo? Like this one, normally, I try to be um, consistent uh, weekly, pero obviously, I'm not that person of very consistent. I have different programs. I have IBMC. We're going to launch next month, January. We also have also, I teach people how to become a Facebook marketing consultant. Again, that will be next month as well. So, uh, yun yun. Ngayon, sarado kasi yung mga enrollment namin. So, walang coaching for me, whatever. Uh, see, okay. Gusto kong kamang basahin ang pangalan mo, pero obviously, hindi ko kaya. Kailan uli mag-open ang CAP? Ah, si Ryan. Ryan, it will open again by the end of January. We will be opening. So somewhere in the last second to the last week. So anyone who would like to become a Facebook marketing consultant, definitely you got to check out my website or email us. We'll send you the details. Pero uh, it will open yung klase. So for those who are uh, never heard of my, what I do is I'm a coach, I'm a consultant. So I coach people through different programs. So, pero normally ang enrollment namin just a few days lang because we'd like to start the class immediately. So, but yung CAP for na hindi alam ng iba yung Certified Advisor Program. Cloud Kian, what book do you recommend for setting aside how to win friends and influence people? What book do you recommend for selling? Hmm. For selling, um, what I suggest is you guys learn how to sell 
through writing o yung tinatawag na copywriting. Copywriting. So I'll share with you guys. You can maybe grab this. Okay? Um, because that's what we do. Right? Yeah. Ultimate Sales Letter by Dan, uh, Dan Kennedy. I don't know if you guys can read it. Yeah. Ultimate Sales Letter. Invest in books. Guys, these are not expense. If you apply everything po na tinuturo sa libro, you're gonna make a lot of money. The problem is people, number one, most people, they don't see this. They see that expense. Ang mahal naman yan. Pero nakapila pag, pagkabibli na ng iPhone. Diyan tayo magaling eh. <laughs> okay? So educate, educate. Because like rin po sinasabi, hindi dahil tapos na po ang college ninyo. I ibig sabihin, tapos na yung education. Absolutely not. Jocelyn Agustin, are the topics I intend to do in ebook all have been published already? Jocelyn, I'm not quite sure dun sa question mo, pero it seems na meron kang idea and you're thinking, what if kung publish na siya? Is that how it works? But I gotta tell you there's some, something, guys. There is nothing new under the sun. Ibig sabihin, do not think na, ah, Hindi na ako gagawa nito kasi meron na nagbibenta. No, 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 no. <laughs> In fact, pag ang isang product, marami pong nagbibenta, that's where you should go. Because that's a good sign. Pagka gumawa ka ng product, Sir John, ito yung idea ko. Very unique ito, Sir John. Wala pa ako nakikita sa internet ito. I think I gotta make a lot of money. Well, I gotta tell you. Probably the opposite what will happen. Maybe kaya walang nagbebenta niyan kasi walang buyer niyan. Okay? Some people think yung idea nila, there are like billions of people, but for whatever reason, some people think yung idea nila is super unique, wala pang nakakaisip. Okay? At nai-stack po sila. Okay. Marami palang katanungan dito. Do you have a course for creating and launching a website? Uh, wala akong course ng Ryan. I think it's Ryan. But in one of my programs, like sa IBMC, merong part siya ng uh, how to set up a website and all the automation in our business, you know. Pero walang course per se na yun lang ang tinuturo. Okay? Roji uh, Andrew Pierad, how did you scale your personal brand? Is Facebook your only social media channel which leads you to your email list? Uh, Roji, this is how it works. Okay? Uh, when you are starting... You have to pick one social media platform. YouTube, Instagram, whatever. It's just so happen I choose Facebook. Um, I choose Facebook. And then from there, nung medyo lumalaki na po yung ating medyo followers, that's when I started to create my YouTube channel. Not many know this. Nasa YouTube po tayo. Nasa TikTok po tayo. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> Nasa YouTube, nasa TikTok, nasa LinkedIn, nasa Instagram po tayo. But please, do not copy me like with the size of my business. May mga tao na po kasi ako who manages all these things. So what I suggest for everyone who would like to have a personal brand, just pick one, just go put your head down, just go for it. You know. So, yeah. so Facebook, social media channel which leads to your email list. Actually, balik tayo. What I do is I generate email list first because that's where really the money, the real money is, is on email list. And then, palagoy mo na lang yung Facebook. Okay, so that's how it works. Get Good Jericho. John, I'm technology recruiter, passionate on helping people and my either passion in songwriting. Any tips po paano maka-reach out sa mga relevant people in music industry? Very good question. Get, get Good Jericho nito. There are people that might be interested in your passion in songwriting. But nobody knows you exist. Nobody knows your passion. So here's what I'm going to do, Jerry, if I were you. I'm going to create a Facebook page. Going to create a Facebook page about songwriting. Songwriting secrets or uh, songwriting for beginners or song whatever. Create a Facebook page. And what I'm going to do, Depende sa may, kung may budget ka wala. But what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna create a Facebook page and then I'm just gonna share tips there on songwriting. Keep publishing videos, article, whatever. And then eventually, people will gonna see you. Because the how, 
how, how, how social media works is this. Eh. Si Facebook kasi, generally, ang gusto nyo lang naman makita, ang gusto niyang makita natin yung mga topic na relevant sa atin. So, ibig sabihin, kung hindi ako mahilig sa songwriting, hindi ko makikita yung mga post mo. Pero kung mahilig ako, makikita yung mga post mo. So, you just keep, keep, keep publishing content. And then, obviously, kung meron kang budget, the good thing with Facebook kasi, guys, is you can spend as little as $1 a day. So, magkano man ang conversion on? 40, 50 pesos. As little as 50 pesos. You can go your personal brand. Right? Kanina may nagtanong, as it's Roji. Once you have your personal brand, guys, you can sell pretty much any, anything. I have books. I've sold thousands of copies of my books. I do seminars every year. Meron po kami yung tinatawag na Lifestyle Entrepreneur Summit with an exception this coming 2021 dahil nga po alam nyo na. But there are like 800 or 1,000 people have joined my seminar. That's like 6,000 seminars. I have workshops. Again, sold out po yung mga yon. Why? Because of the brand that I've been sharing and teaching, like what I'm doing right now. Kunwari, get good, Jerry, this, we're talking about the songwriting. And that's all. Right? So sometimes people get excited with making money. What they didn't realize is people will not just simply give you money. You have to give them value first. And then they get a chance to, to decide, you know what? Gusto ko to get good Jerry na to. I'm going to hire him as a coach, as a songwriter. Or, you know what? Gusto ko to, to see get good Jerry. I'm going to buy his video course on songwriting. That's how it works. Okay? Recorded po ba ito, Sir John? Yes, it should be available on Facebook. What I suggest for those who late. Panoorin po ninyo ulit from the very beginning. Coach John, where do you find those companies looking for an affiliate? Uh, Ruth, Larry, Disabal, yung binigay ko sa'yo. Those are the top three. The rest kasi, guys, there are so many out there, but I don't want to recommend something that I'm not sure of. Ganun lamang po. Kaya just, I just gave you three. Amazon, ClickBank, and CJ Affiliate. Uh, Rochelle Gilo, Merry Christmas, Sir John. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. God bless you. Jolly be good. Hanipa. Jolly be good. Hello, Sir John. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Um, Elma Victa Peralta. Thank you, Sir John. Siksik na siksik ang informasyon. Now I have an idea on how to level up my small soap business. There you go. Elsa Casas. When will be the next IBMC? We'll probably have going to have on January. Right? So abangan na lamang po ninyo. Make sure that you subscribe to our website. By the way, guys. You're missing a lot of information, tips and strategies if you are not subscribed to our website. So go to johnorana.com, J-O-N. Pwede ba mag-type rito? I think I can. <laughs> I cannot remember. How do I do that? Uh, I think this is one. Yeah. I did not then. Okay, so you can go to johnorana.com. Click save. Ano natin palalabasin? Yan. Go to johnorana.com. Check ko nga. <laughs> Baka hindi na pala eh. Okay. Go to johnorana.com and then mariridirect po kayo sa one of my websites, negosyouniversity.com where you can download report on how to sell digital product. I just revised it. Actually, kahapon lang po natapos yung version 5 po ng free report na yon. So from 23 pages, naging 19 pages na po siya. But I really give very specific steps on how to get started in online business. Selling digital products like ebook, video course. Pinakita ko po doon yung mga example, step by step. Okay, because ayoko po nung nagbibigay ng theory, theory lang eh. Wala namang masama sa theory, but uh, there has to be some theory so that people understand how it works. And obviously, there has to be actionable steps. That's one of my favorites. So go to www.johnorana.com and then enter your name and email address and we will send you tips on how to get started with online business. All right? Um, <clears throat> okay. So balik na tayo rito. Nasa na ako ngayon? Comments, 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 comments. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Merry Christmas ko, John. More power, more video pa po. Dami ko pong natutunan sa inyo. Gabriel Dulao. Salamat, Gabriel! Frenchy, uh, Coach, ilang oras po kaya ang need to sit down a day for a digital business para maiset ang schedule? I suggest that you guys spend at least one hour a day. Now, before you tell me, Sir John, I'm a busy husband, I'm a busy wife, I have this and I have that, I don't have an hour. My friend, if you cannot set aside an hour, I gotta tell you, you're not really serious about your business. Period. Okay? Wala kang isang oras? just to work on a bigger, brighter future of your family, then hindi ka talaga seryoso magnegosyo. That's the biggest thing. An hour a day, the minimum, period. One hour a day. One hour a day. Wala akong Sir John, wala akong one hour, pero nakakanood ka ng mga TikTok. Patuloy mong, patuloy mong pinanonood yung mga lumang laban ni Pacquiao. <laughs> okay? As if magbabago yung resulta. Right? Mga Korean nebel ang nahahab, napapanood mo. Netflix, lagi kang nandun. Pero sasabihin mo sa akin, wala kang oras? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay? Hindi ko po sinasabing, huwag kayo manood ng video, huwag kayo manood ng Netflix, huwag kayo manood ng... I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that do not give an excuse na wala kang oras, pero may mga oras ka sa mga telenovela. That's what I'm saying. May oras ka. It's just that where do you spend your time? That is the question. Okay? So, cash advertising is also a great book. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Cash advertising. <laughs> okay? Definitely. Okay. Saan po makakabili ng book ng sales letter po, Coach? Uh, sa Amazon. Amazon.com. I'm not sure kung meron sa Philippines eh. So the problem with the, uh, no, yeah. So I remember when I was still in the Philippines, I still ordered on Amazon. I know it costs us shipping and all, guys, pero you have no idea that these books that I've shared with you so far has brought millions of pesos in my pocket. And I hope that if you apply this thing, ganun din po. I always read books. All right? Because I know that I don't, Ako po yung tao na I know that I I am aware that I don't know a lot of things. Eh, you know, but why figure things out on your own when you can learn from someone who's been there and done that? It's just common sense. Right? And that's what book, coaching, courses can give you. Okay? Uh, yeah, so ito yun, same questions, same thing uh, sa Amazon.com. Hello po, si Elves ng Arnado ng Baguio. Okay. Uh, tanong ni Roji, when do you think is the right time to scale? Tanong ni uh, Roji, um, when do you think is the right time to scale? Well, sa akin, if you hit a certain income level, at hindi ka na masaya. When I started in this business, I only have one simple ambition, and that is to make money as much as yung, yung empleyado pa po ako. Sabi ko, kumita lang ako ng katulad ng sahod ko ngayon, ng nasa bahay lang ako, I'll be happy. And that has been my, my mindset, and that's what exactly what happened. And then of course, dumating yung time na, yeah, hindi ko na kaya mag-isa. I hire, I hire a... Uh, a one person, just one person doing my customer service, answering my email and all. So for several years, ganun po yun. Until, you know, dumating sa point na, you know what? I think I have a bigger potential and all those kind of stuff, right? So dun ako nag-scale. Now I have like seven or eight people, hindi ko na alam, under me. Medyo malaki na po ang Ghost University. For every week, we're reaching more or less about 2 million to 3 million people on Facebook alone. So, yeah, so depende yan na uh, Roji sa ambition mo, sa goal mo, right? Um, yep. Sir Jonel, lang Abu Dhabi, magandang araw sa'yo. Okay, uh, what else? Comment, then pin comment. Hmm? Comment, then pin comment. Okay, I'm not sure. Sinasabi ni Kim Wab. 
May other sites po ba na pwedeng i-suggest as a reference kung naghahanap ng ideas like answer the public kung saan ipapakita most search words sa Google? Um, I do not use kasi yung Google search results. Uh, though when I was starting, it's the same thing. I use that. Pero there are so many niches in market out there that they gonna they not gonna they not they they're not gonna show up on Google search results. So let me explain. When I started, one of my biggest program right now, yung IBMC, you probably heard of it, yung Internet Business Masterclass. Some of you are students of IBMC here. If I search on Google, say how to start an ebook business back in the day when I was just 2015 yata yung first launch ko 2015 wala akong makikitang search results sa Philippines people searching on how to start an ebook business because they don't know they it exists <laughs> so kung magbe-base lang ako sa answer the public or google search most search on google then i won't see i then i've missed that opportunity but now we have 33,000 students in that program. So there you go. Thank you, Coach John. Have a Merry Christmas. Uh, maraming salamat, Ruth, Lardy, Zabal. Uh, okay, a few more questions and then we got to go. Jack, Jack Reside, where can we get any audiobooks and sell it? Well, you have to create your audiobook, right? So, Kunwari, Jack, you love, I don't know. Um, parenting, right? You love to teach dad or mom for whatever. You can you can record on your phone. Mag-record lang kayo ng medyo tahimik. Parang walang tilawak ng malok. Walang balot! Walang ganoon. Record it and then sell your audiobook. <laughs> okay? Um... Uh, okay. I have a feeling someone is trying to spam us. All okay. right. Okay. Um, so, John, available po ba yung cautious entrepreneur book nyo po sa Abu Dhabi? Sa Philippines lang, Janela. Mahal kasi nung shipping cost eh. So, uh, not to mention sa Middle East daw, apparently medyo nakaharang pa yung mga ilang products. Meron bang sales letters sa fully book but sold out na siya? Ah, okay. Meron daw. Sold out na si Gabriel. Tips on inconsistent people. Um, one of things is think about why you are inconsistent on certain things. Maybe you don't like those things, right? I like doing Facebook Live because <clears throat> this is one of those things that I feel that I thrive. Like, Sa tagal ko na po din kasi sa negosyo, you can pretty much ask me anything, particularly sa online business, okay? And uh, it excites me. Like what, what I'm doing right now is technically work, but I don't feel like it's working because I like what I'm doing. Pero yung mga ibang activities sa business, hindi ko po alam, like accounting, bookkeeping, and ako, na mga ayaw na ayaw ko, mga paperworks, right? So ginagawa ko po, ina-outsource ko yan. So I have people who manages those things because I don't want to do it. Okay? Kung gusto mo ko maging consistent, only those things that I love doing. Marina De Los Trinos. Kasi sa mga pag-hire ng mga freelance writer, my favorite is upwork.com. Upworktrabaho.com. One word. Upwork.com. Ko John, eto isang kanta ko sa OFW. Okay, sorry, I cannot see that right now. Get good, Jerry. Romerita o pena, paano mag-sell wala naman may product? Well, I have two things, katulad ng shiner ko. Either you create a product or become an affiliate of certain company where you can market and sell their products and you make commission. So, I think that's it for today, guys. I hope na marami po kayong natutunan as usual. If I can get some love out there, para po marami pa po tayo mga Filipino na matulungan, please do me a favor and I hope na through this broadcast, eh, marami po ako natulungan. But having said that, I would like to say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays sa mga iba. 
But having said that, I would like to say Merry Christmas. I'm so excited for 2021. Most importantly, kung maran man kayo ng success result for whatsoever from what I've been sharing and teaching you guys, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We want to hear your stories. How, what we do for a living. What what we rather what uh, I am doing has helped you to make a living because I have a ambition to help millions of Filipinos um, to get started and have their own businesses. So muli po maraming salamat. Again, um, if you are not subscribed to my website yet, uh, just go to www.john. Orana, that's my name. Sa mga hindi po nakakalam, I'm John Orana. <laughs> okay? JohnOrana.com And uh, yeah, so I appreciate that you joining me for today. So that's it for today. Have a great day. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year na rin po. Bye-bye.